What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch for the PS4. And of course I get attacked right off the bat. A new enemy here, Minor Bird. Let's take it out here. Nice. And not to level up. All right, level two. Now there's these glowing spots on the map. There's one right here in front of me. And you can get items for, uh, got a bunch of booster shots. White bread, soft white bread that never seems to go stale. It's fluffy texture makes it filling, but not heavy. We got that in the last episode. It's kind of like a potion. Restores hit points. And then booster shots. Herbs that are mainly used to increase potions. Efficiency. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that or not. Especially in alchemical medicine making. And I already read everything out. Actually, I didn't read the old stick. A twig found near Alva's house. Faint. Symbols adorn its surface. Alright. Let's go ahead and enter Ding Dong Dell. I'll get some more of those shiny points later on. Uh, but not in this episode. Oh, Knickers. There's something I forgot to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Here in my world, you can use R to change your viewpoint. If you're having any trouble with the controls, go to settings in your main menu and have a fiddle with them. You can switch vibration on and off there as well, isn't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. A rumble just... A rumble without a bit of rumble, is it? Now I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. I guess. Yeah, you can't really zoom in, but you can, like, rotate the map. Rotate the camera. We can take a look at the settings, because I didn't go over the settings earlier, but... Get your guiding star. Mini map rotation. Good, vibration's actually off. That's what, how I want it anyway. And we want tech speed fast, of course. Yep, and the camera's good as well. Um, yeah, subtitles, of course, we want that on. Confirm. Yep, okay, it automatically saves. Okay, cool. Ding dong dell. Uh. A bunch of people here. And like a drowsy guard or something. Looks I'm not sure what's up with him. Case of broken, -heartedness. broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless they do. So his heart was broken uh, by... Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way... We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. And you better care, cure him, in it, Ollie boy. And it's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? How do I do that? Well, you can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? The old man, ain't it? Lives in the wood to the north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. That's why they call 
it the deep dark wood. Makes sense, I guess. Alright, so that's our next destination. Go to the deep dark wood and meet the old man of the woods. Yes, yeah, this, this guard over here is all spry and everything. This guard's like out of it. Must be, must have took some hardcore drugs before coming here or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's like sigh. Huh, up, up, one, two, one, two. Hmm. You want to enter the town, do you? Well, I'm afraid that's impossible at the moment. It's my colleague, colleague, you see. He's the one in charge of letting people in. But recently he's just been refusing to do it. He says he can't be bothered. So I was right. He, he has been taking hardcore drugs. Obviously I'm kidding, guys. Oh dear, I do hope they let us in soon. I need to buy the ingredients for my husband's favorite dinner. Mama, I need to pee pee. To the deep dark wood. This is a disgrace. I've been here for hours. When are they going to start letting people in? They've got to let us in. Mother will go spare if I'm late again. I swear that girl over there keeps looking at me. Hope they keep us out here a little longer. <laughs> wow. What's going on here? They can't keep us all waiting like this. By the way, I hope you're talking about this woman right here and not this little girl there, you creep. Okay. There's only like two girls here. Hopefully he's talking about the woman. Doesn't look like any of us are going anywhere in the near future. I wonder why they're not letting anyone in. Alright, we can leave now. Head to the deep dark wood. I love the world map theme in this game. I also love the victory theme in this game, too. We can do this. Don't use air splitter. There we go, got it. Oh, I should have picked up the orb. I love the victory theme though. It's so simple. It's nice and simple. And it and it's good. It's really good. I like it. It's like this enemy over here, it's a new enemy. Bartend or bartender. Yeah, this game has some uh, puns, just like Dragon Quest. If you play the Dragon Quest games, then you know what I'm talking about. Dragon Quest has a lot of puns. Speaking of that, I know the the funniest pun that Dragon Quest ever had was Matt. The first the character's name was Matt. And his last name was Tress. Matt Tress. <laughs> that was from Dragon Quest VI, I believe. It was hilarious. And we got no new enemy here. Was that Ouroboros? Or Ouroboros? Oh, pick up the orb. Oh, okay, it automatically came to me. Awesome. I think we fought all the enemies in this area. I think there's like uh, another enemy that we could fight later on. Oh, nope, there's another new enemy over here. 
Oh, I tried to get a back attack on him, but he turned around. Let's go. Sleep's foul, or... It's... Oh, it's very weak. He has, like, barely any hit points. But it has that sleep attack, which is kind of annoying. You only get one EXP for it, but you get three gold. And by the way, you can open the map with R1. Yeah, don't worry, I will be getting all the glowy spots on the map. But I want to get it later. I don't want to go out of my way to get them right now. It's honestly not very good to fight right now, honestly. Because we'll, we'll be unlocking something very shortly. Okay, we're almost there. At the deep dark woods. Spooky. The deep dark wood. Forest of Fairy Tales. Look at that. It's a waystone. Way That's useful. A waystone. Yeah, man. There are these ancient stones, see? You can use them to save a record of your adventure so far. In wild places like forest and so on, you can't just plonk yourself on the nearest rock and write your stories down. But why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, mon, because they're crawling with horrible beasties, ain't it? They are? That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, mon. Just remember, you can't go recording your progress any old where. Allow me to explain a little more. Touch a waystone and your health and magic power will be fully restored. Not bad, eh? And that's not all, Mun. These little beauties will also let you save your progress. A traveler's best friend they are. Which is why you should stop at every waystone you see and make good use of it. Better safe than sorry. In it. Sure, Mr. Drippy. Toddy, that's what I like to hear. Let's hope you're as good as your word. Righto, next stop, the old man of the woods. Yeah, we can go ahead and save it here. Might as well. Look at that. That's useful if you're lucky. You'll be able to use these one day. Yeah, we can't do anything with that right now. Alright, so we need to fall dripper. We can't go that way yet. This game looks so much better than the PS3 version. Wait for me. Who goes there? Jeepers. Holly boy, meet old father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, 
I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is, is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you a tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it. Did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first, we had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, All right, familiars. best part of the game. In our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So, you're going to need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. But Mr. Drippy, there's no spell name Form Familiar here. You what? The boy is correct. Look at the wizard's companion. It would, ev it would seem that it is missing more than a few of its pages. Really, knickers. So does that mean I can't use cast a spell? Ho ho ho. I'm not as powerless as all that, young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar, oh, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. Yes, yeah, so this is like the best part of the game, the familiar system. Very similar to Pokemon. You received a page describing the form familiar spell. Thank you very much, old father oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you will be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards such as life. Don't worry about that for now, mon. Just give form familiar a go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. So let's go ahead and cast form familiar. Summons a summons forth a familiar from the caster's heart to fight beside them. What's this? That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh. A soldier of your soul. And he can really help me fight? <laughs> that was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> so this is a familiar, huh? And he'll be coming with us? And did he will, Ollie boy? The more the merrier, ain't it? Or in it? <laughs> Here, you better give little fellow a name, eh? I'll just leave it, uh, the names the same. I'm not going to change the names because I'm not good at thinking up names. Are you sure you want to call the Might Mighty? Yes. Oliver, we cannot let you set off into the wild without, or the wild with only that withered wand in your hand. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is the restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. You received a page describing the Healing Touch spell. Toddy, that's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventurer. Cuts, bruises, brains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with Healing Touch. 
Gee, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Drippy. Next to give you the gift of the Blazing Inferno Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire that one does plant-based plant-based beasties flipping hate fire mun even old tree face here is scared of fireball drippy how dare you you would never aim such a spell at me would you boy golly of course not old father oak you see the page describing the fireball spell now boy, you can press square at any time to open your spells menu. While a spell while a spell like Killing Touch can be used at any time, Fireball is meant primarily for use in battle. That said, the most unexpected of spells can prove incomparably useful given the right set of circumstances. Novel problems call for novel solutions after all. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through the magical repertoire. You never know which spell might save the day. I use the spells mend, I think is what it said. Oh, we got an enemy here. Is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? What do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. Now right, we get to a battle with the familiar. Teeny Bopper. Right out, Ollie boy. It's time to learn about fighting with familiars. First off, you've got to pick who's going to fight out of you and your little friend. We've gone to the trouble of making him, so we best give him a go, eh? Select him, will you? Toddy, now let's send him into the fray, shall we? Oh yeah, see that circle in the top left there? That's your familiar's stamina gauge. What that does is it shows you how much longer he can fight Four, see? The longer you keep him on the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. When it's empty, that means the poor lad's so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before that happens, you have to call him back f to you for a bit of, of a rest, like... Oh, and there's something else about familiar you should know. See this little mark by here? That's his sign. It's sort of like a star sign except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. And like star signs, different ones get on better. You can use that to help you in battle. Now let's talk about tricks. They're proper powerful abilities. A bit like your spells. And just like spells, they cost MP to use. You can see the cost written next to them. But what you've got to remember is that you and your familiar share HP and MP. Yeah, so, or MP and HP. So, yeah, your familiar's HP and MP is equal to what Oliver's is. So, and all your familiars will have the same HP. Or whatever Oliver's is. So if a familiar uses a trick or takes a big hit, it is your HP and MP, MP and HP that will suffer. Cracky, that's a long... This is a long old lesson, eh? Alright, let's finish a top tip, top tip, shall we? Familiar, stamina is always going down. So you'll need to swap with him regularly. Do that anytime, if, anytime you like by pressing L1 in it. Now I'm going to stop talking before I put you bo us both to sleep. It's your turn to sing for your supper. Go on, boy. Botch. Let's do cut loose here. It'll hit up both. It'll hit both of them. Uh, but keep in mind that 
build yourself a cooldown. So you can't just spam it. Plus we can't use it any more than once anyway because it uses all the MP. Nice and uh, familiar leveled up. So did Oliver. Yeah, and the familiars have their own stats as well. So they got attack, defense, special attack, special magic defense, accuracy, and evasion. So now that you know how to fight with a familiar in it, Ollie boy. To be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to let familiar loose and when to take control yourself. Doing best, Mr. Drippy. Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found taking it easy in the creature cage. In the creature cage, you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. There's all kinds of treats to choose from. Some will improve their abilities, and there's other ones that can even teach them new tricks tidy. Feed the little blighters enough of what they fancy, and the bonds of familiarity between you will grow, meaning you boost their abilities even more. Careful not to stuff them too much full of sweeties, though. They'll only end up getting f full up adoration and moderation. Moderation. That's the key. It's probably a lot to get your head around, but just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars and take it from there, in it. The creature cage, got it. I promise to look after him real well, Mr. Drippy. The creature cage is now assess accessible from the main menu. Almost forgot. We found something we wanted to ask you your trunkiness. There's a guard down in Ding Dong Dell and he's broken hearted, see? Hmm, broken hearted, you say. Shadar's evil spreads still further. So you'll be needing that we will, your oakitude. That there's quick you are. You still have, you still got it, ain't you? Ho ho ho. Patience, young drippy, of course I have. Let me see now. Hmm, I know it's here somewhere. Crikey, you've not gone and lost it, have you? I lost it, the insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Uh, while I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. What? I didn't mention we're in a flippin' hurry, didn't I? We haven't got time to go. Mr. Drippy, we should help Old Father Oak. He gave us these spells, didn't he? I'll have our refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. Alright, alright. I get the flippin' message. Go on. What is it you need for us? Of us? Well, it's the guardian of the woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he has become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. Well, that's not good. Well, that's no good, is it? Better help you sort him out then, eh? The guardian, he sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got a familiar on your side now, Mun. You'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Jadar, you can't back out of a bit of light guardian bashing now, can you? Okay, I'll do it. A very kind of you. The guardian can be found deepest part of the woods beyond the wellspring or whispering waterfall. I wish you luck. First spells not familiar as you're turning into a proper wizard, ain't it, Allie? Ollie boy. I guess I am, huh? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at your new mate, eh? 
How do I do that, Mr. Drippy? It's a piece of cake. Now, listen up. If you look in the main menu, your, uh, main menu you'll see friends and familiars. That's where you'll find all sorts of details about you and your familiar's abilities. It looks a bit complicated and there are a few, a fair few options kicking out in there to be fair, but you'll soon get the hang of it, Mun. Now you're still new to this wizarding lark, so there's a limit to what you can do in it. But keep fighting monsters and eventually you'll get stronger. We call that leveling up, see? You'll probably make some new mate you'll probably yeah make some new mates before long and all so be sure to take a closer look at them like I showed you you got it mr. drippy your friends and familiars are now accessible from the main menu yeah so you can see their stats You can also see their tricks too. Cut loose. A, a barrage of random slashes deals physical damage to all enemies. And as you level up, you're familiar with getting new, new tricks, as you can tell. Healing Touch heals wounds with a warm rush of kind heartedness. Fireball. Send forth a ball of fire. Squirts the enemy. Can also be used to light lanterns. I don't have anything to feed them right now, but you can feed them to boost their stats. If you want to talk to the oak, you can. The guardian of the woods watches over this forest. Normally he's a tranquil soul, but something has changed him. He's not himself. Alright, let's go back to the save point. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.